Hi everyone, I am McDysis, and this is Lake Haven Chrysalis. Uh, this is a new game that I got gifted by a friend, uh, Rambo Rachel, uh, who is also in the Twitch chat below right now, and I thought I'd play this game, and I actually ended up really enjoying it. And uh, while it is short, it actually has a really neat speedrun that I kind of felt really compelled to immediately start talking about and doing. So, uh, what is th this game? It's kind of like a, uh, th think like Puppet Combo style PS1 horror, um, but it's kind of like Silent Hill vibes. It's a neat time. Uh, it's also a really short run, it's like 15 minutes. So anyone can learn it, I literally got World Record today, and there's also a lot of new tech that is not really explained in a lot of videos, so I figured that this is probably gonna be a nice way of helping a uh, people learn the game if they wanna learn the game. Now I know what you're thinking, uh, how do I run this game? First off, um, you're going to want to be, uh, well you wanna beat the game once. You wanna be on, a, I guess, a, you wanna know, have a save file, you wanna be on the main menu, and you're gonna wanna have a save file in existence. You don't need to beat the game with the save file, but you need a save file. You need something that will let you interact with the overworld. So what's gonna happen is if you hit a new game, uh, the game's gonna throw you into the game, obviously. But the game begins with you in like a cop car, and that's gonna take a bit. However, there's a skip I found almost immediately. Uh, I'm calling it the, uh, just a wrong warp, uh, also known as the formerly known as Ignisus skip. That's a long name, but I think it's dumb. Uh, but we'll be fun. And nice, Baki Senpai. Anyway, time actually begins on first movement when you get into the game, but we're not gonna do that just yet. So we're gonna hit continue. Uh, I'm going to have a save file here. This hasn't been the game, actually. So you don't need a save file that beats the game. You literally just need a save file. Although I recommend you beat the game before speedrunning it, because just, just do it. <laughs> uh, but my save file, uh, I have one here to practice a boss fight skip that will be coming up later. Uh, but the idea behind this is the game already kind of exists. Also, we're going to be doing some settings before we get into the game, because the game's rule set allows you to start time on first movement. And I'm pretty sure they're not going to mind what I'm doing with it when we get into the game. Uh, there's going to be a lot of little things we're going to have to do. Anyway, to show off what I'm talking about, when you boot up the game on New Game, what's going to happen is it's going to spawn you all the way in front of this police car. By the way, if you're wondering why time hasn't begun yet, we haven't begun the run yet. We're setting up the run. So, um, and I'll show off why this all works. This police car right here is normally where you'll spawn. And what you're meant to do is you're meant to run all the way in the back and, you know, check the, oh, the house is locked. So you have to run further into the game. And you can see just me running here alone. This is taking some time, right? This is taking a wee bit of time. Uh, you also get to see the, the map here. But the thing is, uh, this is all one large hub. You may notice there's no loading screen. It's very, very seamless. It's You can just go back and forth. So, what's going to happen is, I'm pretty sure it works with any of the game's locations here, um, being the basement, the house, the well, or the barn. But right at the beginning of the game, we're going to have a lot of supplies to get in this barn right here. Uh, as you can see, you know, there's a barn over here. We're going to be grabbing those later. However... By going into the barn zone and then walking back into the previous zone, what's going to happen is the game's going to have my spawn be default right here. So at this point, what I do is after going from the barn back to the main area, I'm going to quit the game. Uh, by doing that, that's going to allow me on the new game file to teleport in front of the barn. So you'll see it in a moment here. Anyway, uh, time begins on first movement. So we're not going to start time yet, but we'll go to new game now. We can call it like barn. We can call it barn warp, formerly known as Ignisus Skip. Uh, the skip formerly known as Ignisus Skip. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, if you're having issues and you're wondering why it has to be here specifically, because you might be wondering, hey, if you can go to the barn, if you can go right there, why not go closer to the barn? It crashes. If you're not in the main hub, the game will just crash. Um, I tried doing it like right next to the first item you'd grab, but the game crashed on me. I tried doing it in many other rooms, the game crashed on me. Um, the game is taking your previous save position and then putting it in the new game file. So it works as long as you're in the main hub. So that's how it all works. And you can kind of see already, like I found this on accident uh, just because I was trying to mess with the game. And in a game that literally was maybe a couple weeks old, it already has a really cool skip and there's not a whole lot of runners in this game. So um, if anything in this video is going to interest you, I implore you to run it. Same with Twitch chat. Exactly. Everyone's upside down jaw games, right? Get rotated. It's like the meme of the shark. Get rotated, idiot. I love that so much. Okay. Um, in the future, though, I think the devs did talk about making this cutscene skippable, so right now I cannot skip it, but in the future you may be able to. Uh, in case you're wondering why I'm not skipping in this spot. Um... It's actually nice to have devs who are pretty pro speedrunning friendly. Uh, you don't get that quite a lot, so. 
it's nice. Anyway, as you can see, we're pulling up to the house. Uh, the game's gonna like pan back to the car. When we get in, it's gonna be right in the location I left off on. Now, according to the leaderboard rules, time begins on first movement. So you are allowed to do anything as long as you're not moving your character in the beginning. See, we spawn right here. Uh, we're actually gonna go to settings first off. I recommend turning uh, frame rate unlocked. Uh, that will put it 144. Um, they might make rules in the future, but I have 144 online. I, I'm imagining it probably goes to whatever your monitor's FPS is. It probably has some sort of V-Sync. Uh, and then I like widescreen and uh, CRT filter off, so I'm gonna turn these off, but make sure you do these beforehand. Yeah, it's neat stuff. How's it going, by the way? Is that Nuji? Hope you're doing good. Uh, anyway, with all these settings, we don't crank up brightness or anything of like that. Go for that, but I'll be using the default. Anyway, at this point, you can go back to the game, and then time begins on first movement, which is a quick turn. Alrighty. So, we start by going to the barn immediately. Uh, we're going to be going to the barn and making sure I actually touch the door. Uh, also, uh, if I look like I'm taking weird wide turns, take the weird wide turns. There's a lot of things that block you. Uh, but I'm going to the barn first because there's two items in here. Uh, the first one is going to be on the upper area, and this is going to be a book with a poppy in it. Uh, also, you notice quick turns will be really fast. Um, base game mechanics, I don't need to excite quick turning and stuff like that. It'll just be there. Uh, but this is going to be nice because right after getting the poppy, we can just grab the shovel. Uh, you do need both, and it's going to make more sense to get the poppy first because then you can just run straight head on into the shovel. Uh, at this point, we're never going to go to the barn again, as this is why you can imagine go to the barn now. <laughs> All right, so next we're going to be going to the well. Uh, whenever I'm going to areas, I just kind of mash X. Uh, you can apparently hold down X, but I prefer mashing. Uh, it just lets me feel like I'm hitting it more. Matter of preference. Uh, you're going to be during this journey a lot, so make sure you're making the turns early. Uh, but we're going to start by grabbing the key down here. Uh, this is the key to the front door. Uh, mashing X the whole time during all of these, just to make sure I have them. And then, hey, look, we're out of here. Uh, a big thing to know in a lot of games like this, by the way, is that you're able to move before you think you can. So I'm actually going to be holding up right, and you'll see it's kind of just already ahead. That's why. Uh, a lot of games have this where the load-in is not the load-in. That's like the environment's in. Uh, the character's already in the game at that point. So we're already in the house. Uh, we can start moving. Uh, we're going to be going to the second floor immediately. Uh, this is going to be the poppy puzzle. Uh, the poppy puzzle is going to be just put a poppy into this painting, uh, which the poppy is in the book. I do a slight tilt so I don't read the cover. Uh, and then I go over to the poppy and we're using it on this painting. Uh, this gives you a button. Hey, look at that. And then we're able to get a key. We want to make sure that throughout this route, we're making as many like one way trips as we can. We don't have to keep going back and forth and back and forth. So that's why we went uh, the way we did first to grab everything in the barn. Uh, as well, to use keys, you have to make sure you go to menu. Uh, we're going to grab the tablet in here. I'm holding up left to get that faster. And then you just do a quick loop around. We're going to grab the meat on the table. Uh, that's going to be useful for later as we're going to need an item out of it. And then we're going to be grabbing a key on this counter. As you can see, I grabbed like three things in this area before leaving uh, to go to the next area. Now, there are two routes. You can either take the wide turn or you can uh, go through the uh, little patio there. The wide turn is surprisingly faster. Uh, we timed both. Uh, the patio has too many awkward turns to be too fast. So we're not going to worry about that. Anyway, now that we're down here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the relief, uh, mainly because the archer plate is already on there and I want it out of my inventory. Um, you don't actually need the relief item. Uh, this is going to give you a light bulb. Funny enough, you don't need the light bulb. Uh, the light bulb is an item that will let you see something uh, that comes later. Uh, however, you don't need that. Uh, we're also going to put the meat that we found on this table. That's going to break the panel and that'll give you the clock keys. Or clock hands, I guess. You get what I'm talking about. Uh, which at this point, hey, look at us. We can now go and leave back to the the basement, I suppose. We're going to a new area. Remember earlier in the game when we grabbed that shovel? It's going to come in handy now. So we're going to be going up left to this dirt mound. Be right on it, by the way. This dirt mound's kind of awkward. Uh, mainly, if you're not right on it, you can't utilize it. So, and yeah, Jenso, it's classic horror vibes. Uh, it's really nice as a game. I'll be doing good today. Uh, I'm actually X the whole time because not only is it going to tell you uh, you get a broken shovel handle, uh, you're also going to be getting a key. So make sure you get the key. There we go. Uh, and then we can go straight right here. Uh, as you can see, the routing's really nice because we're making sure that we're not taking any weird backtracking. We're always going where something needs to be done. Uh, down here is a bit of an awkward turn. Uh, there's going to be a toolbox right here. So uh, just to make sure you stop, we're going to be using the key we just got. This is going to give us our crowbar. Uh, the crowbar is going to be a good runt of the game right here. Uh, there's a lot we're going to be doing, not with the crowbar itself, but just in this section because uh, now we can go back into the house. 
Uh, so as I'm leaving here, I'm actually gonna start walking, not running. Uh, the reason why is because it will give me a sharper turn, and this is the only time I'll be taking the patio, because we're already next to the patio. As I enter the house once again, I'm going to be using the clock puzzle. Uh, you can solve this at any point you want, the answer is midnight. Uh, as long as you're somewhere near midnight, you're fine. Uh, this will always take the same amount of time, and it's not really affected by FPS. Uh, once the, uh, gets close to midnight... Hey, look, Lance. You got it right if you heard the, the ding. I recommend you make a safety save, um, coming up to this area in a moment. Uh, if you are wanting to practice, um, a skip I might be doing later. Uh, I'll at least explain what the skip does, because it sounds like it might be getting fixed. So you can do the skip in the future. But I'll explain what it does, and how it works. Anyway, we get the moon key. This is going to open the door across the hallway. That's it. Which that will allow us to get into the attic. I'm actually going slightly left. Uh, use the moon key. And now we're going to be going into the dresser. Now, weird thing about the dresser. It's going to have us not facing the dresser. It'll have us facing the other way. So I'm going to start walking up right the moment I get out of the dresser. See? And now that we're here, we're actually going into this corner. And I will be combining... Uh, the hook and the uh, shovel handle to make a hook and it's gonna tell you hey have you been here before because the game knows that you're doing things out of order you're not meant to know this is in the corner uh until the uh light is on but we skip the light anyway uncapped fps is great because the answer is going to be uh 15 which start on the right uh then go to 40 going left holding down is going to go faster than ticking but make sure you don't miss it and then 60 and then once you have that you're good to go uh, grab both items, just mash. But I don't think it's uh, one of the granny games. And now that we have the command plate, um, actually, I recommend right here is where you make the safety save. Uh, if you want to be able to practice things, make it right after grabbing the command plate, so you don't have to do that every time. Uh, because we're going to be having a boss fight coming up. Uh, the boss fight can be skipped, however, the currently, the skip does not work. You can get part one, but part two just makes you do the boss fight anyway. But apparently that is an error and was not meant to be, you know, you're meant to be able to skip it. So it's kind of neat. Anyway, back into the well we go. Uh, you may remember the relief area. Uh, the relief plate will not work until you use the clock, which is why we had to do the clock. Um, funny enough here, there's the light bulb on the ground. Run past it because we're going to be spawning in a doorknob. And this doorknob is going to be like one of the major items. This is what uh, causes the boss to spawn in. So if you grab that doorknob, the boss will spawn in. In theory, if you really want to make the save, I guess you could just, you know, make a save after using the relief tablet, but you'd probably want the doorknob anyway. Anyway, we're now going to be going back into the house. And the boss fight's going to be pretty easy. You just literally shoot. However, uh, while the, that is the boss fight, you can actually skip it. Uh, the skip, I'll at least explain. Uh, if you get to the door while not moving, I'm going to run two seconds. And then a little bit of tapping. Uh, there we go. You can actually get this door early like that. Uh, the way I do it is two seconds of running and then little tappings inside. Uh, by doing that, you are able to just get this early. And then, hey, look at that. But the problem is you can't skip the entirety of the fight. So get nice and close and just pop her. However, apparently this will change in the future. There Anyway, um, you'll probably save time. Hey, if you want to be my record, you can do this in the future. <laughs> I've rather run this game when the, it's patched in, but you can kind of see how it works there. Uh, in the future, that skip will work. Uh, right now, though, you'll have to do the boss fight. Which, the boss fight's just like that. You run up to her, and then the, the ground is, you know, all back. Um, there we go. And now we can leave. Beautiful, right? Oh, so how's it going, Mr. Mole? Yeah, great combat. We're not going to be going back into the well. Uh, we're going to the well a lot. So this is why you want to get really used to this specific path. Uh, in case you're wondering, how do I know where I'm going? I wait to hear five footsteps before turning. Uh, if you try doing it early, you might bonk. That's why. All right. uh, we're not going to be using the tablet. There is a skip here. And I don't know how to do it outside of the phrase, get good. Um, it doesn't really save time. I just kind of uh, cosmetic. And I've only had it happen to me once. Anyway, you're going to see me running down here as fast as possible. The skip happens on the way back, but there's also a skip that it will be skill-based, so you can just do it. By the way, get good also uh, refers to myself. Uh, if you're wondering how do I run down this, I'm just tapping right every now and again to make sure I'm not, um, you know, hugging the wall too tightly, but also to make sure that I'm also not deviating too far away. So just slight tapping every now and again, and then we're inside. 
This is a boss fight skip, technically. So you run up to the face, and then it gives you a lot of dialogue. I'm not going to do that. What I do is the moment I see the face, shoot. Face is dead. You skip a lot of dialogue, and it's good. Riveting sub. Mr. Mole, thank you for the prime game for four months. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors, and thank you. Hope you were having a wonderful day today. Uh, do make sure you grab the key, uh, and then you will be leaving. Another thing I want to mention is while you could do the key thing now, you don't have to. Uh, it, always be sure that whenever you're using any inventory, you're using it on what you need to do. It's uh, a classic trick you want to save your menus. And there we go. So we're actually going to start running up immediately. Uh, I did not get the skip. Um, if you don't get the skip, that's fine. Uh, there's a little bit of mist here. So, same deal, just start running up. Make sure you don't bonk into too many things. Uh, the chains could hit you. It stops you if they do. So try not to get hit by the chains. I got hit by one. Uh, it is possible to get hit by multiple. Uh, I don't know if they're RNG or not, but they're definitely annoying. Uh, you'll probably avoid them as long as you're playing this properly, I think. Probably. I tend to get hit on the way back once, though. Usually in this hallway. I don't know why. Hey, I didn't. And then, once you're here, you're gonna go down to the basement, and then you have the finale. However, we still have a skip down there. Yeah, it's fun, Spencer. It's, it's short, but it's a fun game. All right, uh, take your new key. Uh, you're not going to be going to the very first key in the game that you had. You're going to be mashing the button because that'll utilize the item. And now we'll be going into the room. Make sure you say yes. And then once you're in, uh, this room is kind of just do things. It's meant to be confusing. Uh, I like to shoot and kind of run around. Uh, I don't know if it makes it faster, but at some point when you see the crack, that's when you know your key is there. Now, uh, really weird skip, and it's going to be strange. But what's going to happen is the next room is going to want us to find a ringing phone. So what you need to do is you need to make it so you go through the maze as much as possible. It's going to be two cycles. What does that mean? There's going to be moments when the room swaps. If you find that swap location, you can actually uh, make it so you can just... Uh, swap. So I'm actually holding backward. Um, because the way the room generates is going to be the phone's right in front of me. I want that phone despawn as soon as possible. I'm going to keep messing with the spawns until I hear ringing. It should be two. All right. So you spawned in. I'm going to start running backwards. All right. There it is. It's gone. Run back. Run back. There it is. Uh, as long as you keep seeing that screen flash, that's how you know you're doing it right. Uh, the phone is ringing, you're good to go, and then... Uh, time will be coming up in a moment here. Uh, once you answer the phone call, you're gonna be running up right a little bit to pass this table. And then, just go all the way to the end. Time ends when you're at the final table. Uh, this run did end up turning really well, I'm actually really proud of myself. Uh, I landed everything I wanted, and I had not a real lot of mistakes. Uh, I guarantee that uh, this run will be invalidated when it gets patched. Uh, just because, you know, having a whole new skip's gonna be nice. Uh, running straight here's a little bit hard, but if you can get it, more power to you. Uh, time ends on first frame of, uh, fade up, and there we go. I got a 1230. Uh, that's a new world record, and that's a very commentator run for that record. Uh, someone's probably gonna beat this. Maybe it'll be you. I hope you enjoyed this. If you're watching us on YouTube, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll play out the endings. It's fun. And I'll talk with, uh, Twitch chat here. Yeah, what do y'all think about it? I, I, that's good. It's actually genuine world record, too. Like, do I knock that out of the park? I only had one fault, and that was the, uh... I think the boss fight, in fact, technically, because I split in a weird area there. Yeah, yatta. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she just beat my record, of course, of course. Uh, apparently, this game is going to be a full game at some point, so right now, this is just Chrysalis. Uh, this is kind of a uh, prologue. Uh, it's like $3. This game's cheap, by the way. It's like $3. I got it gifted to me, too. I didn't even buy this game. It was gifted. So, I think it's pretty tight. And uh, I definitely smashed the uh, the time there a little bit. Uh, before I got into this game, by the way, world record was 13.55. So not only did I beat it, I, I just... It, it's been really beaten. Uh, can I get lower? Uh, in theory, you know, more people can mess around with skips. The game literally came out a couple weeks ago, I think, so it's still fresh. Uh, people are still running it, uh, you know, really new. And, uh... Yeah. Evil the Night? Nice, Jenso. Maybe. I'm gonna have to check it out, but we will see. Anyway, good stuff. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube even still, if you want to see more games, uh, you know, explained, let me know in the comments of what you would, uh, like to see.
Oh, it's gonna be nice because it's gonna be a really short video. So I think it's gonna be fun. No, I don't. Hey, also I don't think it's gonna demonetize me at all. I don't have to worry about anything in this game. It's just kind of pretty neat. And then we'll play out the credits as well. Twitch chat, say hi to the YouTube viewers. YouTube viewers, come over to Twitch chat. Hello. Oh, exactly. It's the hellos. Alright, here's our ending. Oh yeah, I need to make my tweet, by the way, so don't mind me. While the credits roll, chat, if you want to be on the rocker tweet, um, I don't know. Spam cheer. So. Yeah, it's a neat one. I'll put it on YouTube, Velcro Zippers. So. Alright, let's see. Cheer. Yeah, we did it. Ah. Ah. Uh. There we go. Uh, let's see if it can't work. Yeah, exactly. All good. Yep. I had that happen, Danny. Uh, I, I still made a video explaining everything, and if it gets patched out, awesome. Otherwise, no worries. I just got 12.30. Also, I found out the finale skip, by the way. So, cool stuff. Hold on. Uh, there's a fun speedrun on my... Um, 